in the video on uh, web request i had explained to you in great detail how we are going to uh, read the signal so the signal will be in the output array we have removed the forward slash and next line character and signals will be in this form that will post cell limit zero dollar two forty cell limit is order type zero dollar currency pair two forty is h4 time frame one in the previous bar five is entry price five pips below the high one two three magic number two point bar risk percentage now we want to call this function place pending order string symbol in period string order type and offset in bar in magic the double risk in slippage and in stop loss and take profit so we want to call this function If this is the signal cell limit, it should have seven. The array should have seven elements, or array size should be seven. We, I will explain to you in uh, coming videos uh, how we are going to then deal with the broker individual brokers but let's say the signal is for all the mp4 mp5 accounts so first we check the array size just ensure that we have the correct array size output should have seven as i've said to you array size should be seven and then we check if output zero is buy limit or, or output zero is sell limit or output zero is buy stop or output zero is sell stop so if output zero is this order type then we place the order place pending order output one is the currency pair string to integer is the period output zero is order type string to integer this is the bar number string to integer the integer so we have we call this all these inputs are now provided to the place pending order function slippage stop loss and take profit have already been defined as global variables i have fixed them but you can change them in the settings Input in slippage is three for my EA. Input in take profit is 110 pips, and input in stop loss is 10 pips. You can change the settings over here, so you don't have to now worry about these uh, slippage, stop loss, take profit. So this is all the place pending order is. made now suppose we have modify order modify order euro dollar one two three is magic number 60s period one is the bar and zero is the offset so this array will have six elements so we check this on another time more function more signals buy order place market order euro dollar magic number risk percentage buy order place so do type of buy orders or sell orders currency pair magic number risk percentage stop loss take profit and then there's a broker name also so i'll uh, explain how we want to do this broker name in the coming videos so first we just uh, 
first I'll explain to you when the signal is same to for all the MT4 accounts. So if the output uh, the race size output is equal to 4 and if output 0 is buy order, output 0 is sell order and if is number output 3 is true, I'll explain this is number function in the coming videos. Then we place market order. See, everything now is provided to the place market order function, slippage, stop loss, take profit, we don't have to provide them just uh, defined them in the beginning. So this is the second type of place market order when we specify the stop loss and take profit as well. So it will uh, then, we'll first check the array size output six, then, then we will check that the order is buy order or sell order. Then we'll call this function place market order and we then string to integer string to double we have to convert these types uh, because uh, this output uh, elements are a string so we convert them before so this is how we are going to execute the signals Delete order, delete an existing pending order, euro dollar, magic number. So this is the function delete, close order, string symbol, string order type, int magic, int symbol. So first we check it, the array size if it is output 3. Then if output is 0, delete order, output uh, 0 is close order, delete order. So it will just then call the function delete close order. So modify the order, euro, dollar, magic number, period, bar, add, subtract, pips, add, subtract, this add, subtract, uh, pips, stop loss, add, subtract, pips, take profit. There are two forms that modify order. Modify the order, currency pair, magic number, period, bar, offset. Modify order, string symbol, int magic, int period, int bar. So we will first check if it is the... 6 or here size is 6 if output 0 is modify order and is number output 5 is true. We'll explain this is number in the coming videos. So when we will call this modify pending order function. So modify position, modify open position. So this will again else if. So it will check first the array size then it will check that order type and then it will execute the signal. So this is how the signals get executed in the trade copier. It's the same for MP4 and it is MP5. This is all same for MP4 and MP5. Nothing is different between the two. So I hope now you get the idea. How we are going to deal with individual brokers, I will explain to you when we provide one broker name or two, three broker names. Then we will get to that also.